Welcome back to the Hub Today. It's getting a little wild in here. All month long, we've introduced you to shelter pets who are looking for their forever homes. And today, as the adoption campaign wraps up, and you got to talk a little louder over the snorts, <laughs> we're celebrating our very successful Clear the Shelters. It keeps yes, it going. And there are still tons of animals looking to find their match, and maybe it's you. So listen up. Our friends from the Animal Rescue League, Boston, are here to tell us everything we need to know. Welcome. Yes. Welcome, everybody. So let's start with some introductions. Who do we have here? We'll go right down the line. Sure. So this is... Wilda. Look over here. This is Wilda. Yes! Hi, Wilda. Her 15 weeks. Oh, a baby. She has the cone of shame. She just got spayed. Oh, oh the cone of shame. She is a southern beauty. They've all been there, honey. It's fine. Yes. A and southern then, belle. And then this fella, fe wait, lady, beautiful this is lady. Ace. Ace? Yes. He, very, he loves other dogs, which is why he's so excited right now. So, he's so just excited. Play, 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 as you can see. That's how we feel when we start the show. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Dr. Aaron, this is a yeah. busy time of year. In Absolutely. your advice, what should people be thinking about if they're looking to adopt right now? Yeah, I mean, well, we had a really lovely Clear the Shelters month with over 400 animals adopted, but there's still plenty of animals coming in each day, so certainly they haven't missed their chance if they're looking to adopt. Um, I think a lot of it's just thinking about the household, what pet might be the right fit for them as a family, depending on their lifestyle, their day-to-day. -day. Um, and I also, like, shelters can be a great resource, too, so if folks are thinking about adopting and not quite sure, even if they're not ready yet, they're always welcome to come in and we can give them a lot of information. That's a good idea. Start yeah. feeling it out, because it's a big yeah. transition time for a lot of us. The kids are back to school, mm -hmm. schedules are changing, sports are happening. So how much do you want to take all that into consideration when you're bringing a new pet into the house? Yeah, I mean, pets definitely come with a lot of responsibility, particularly as they're new and still settling into the household. So definitely thinking about whether it makes sense to let things settle down or not before bringing in a new pet. Um, but also recognizing that, you know, even, even as things are, you know, there's a lot of changes coming into the fall, there's still opportunities to, you know, bring a new pet in, add routine with the, with the pet into the home. And um, just as, you know, just as, as we do with our kids and, you know, still taking care of the pet and making sure they've got their routine as you bring them into the home, even if things are a little bit crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then tell us a little bit more about Ace, because he's a little bit, yeah. uh, uh, like in terms of a good fit for a family and what someone should be prepared for. Yeah, I mean, Ace is a lovely dog, and he's excited with the new environment and the puppy, but you can see he's already settling in. So in a home, he definitely will, will settle in and, um, and be a great dog. Uh, Ace is a lovely dog. As an adult, uh, that gives a bit of a head start as mm -hmm. compared to a puppy, who puppies are also wonderful, but with puppies, you're doing the house training. You're doing a little bit more, you know, just more obedience and training, whereas Ace has already had some of that and had some life experience under him. Life experience uh, is good. Yeah, very absolutely. Good. Uh, so, no, he's really a great dog. He's good with other dogs. He's a very friendly, uh, very outgoing dog. He did have the reason he's been with us. He's actually been with us since August, and the reason he's been with us is he had knee surgery mm -hmm. while he was with us, but he's recovered just fine, and we don't anticipate that being a concern for an adopter. So, all in all, he's a pretty easy fit into a lot of different homes. That's great. And real quick before we wrap up, because I'm sure people are wondering, how big will Wilda get? Because she's just a baby. Yeah, probably in the 40, 40 to 50 pound range. Okay, maybe. mid size. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Mid -size. Nice. She likes Perfect. to give kisses, I see. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. But such a great reminder what a resource the adoption agencies are to ask yes. those questions. And you're the matchmaker yes. for Thank families. Thank you all so much. To learn more about these adoptable pups and more, you can head to arlboston.org. And if you're looking for other ways to support our Clear the Shelters campaign, we invite you to scan the QR code that you see here on the screen, and it'll take you where you need to go to help out. Thank you. Thank you so much.